yes after a long time finally it rained wow you can see today the weather is going to be a little bit cool with not too much dust you know good morning good afternoon good evening it depends with the time zone whether you're coming from uk my friend from germany wow whether you are coming from Switzerland, whether you are coming from Australia, whether you are coming from USA, whether you are coming from the big nation, the mother nation, Africa, Asia, India. Wow, my old friend from, who was watching me from India, I heard there was a time you come and so the places that I was showing you, I saw in the text. I wish you all the best and good stay in Africa. If you're still watching this video, feel most welcome and feel most motivated. And enjoy your stay. So today is a wonderful day. Not to everybody. Because I saw in the comment section, one of my friend, one of my mom, one of my sister. Sister T in his 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 in his image in the comment section. I hope all well, all goes well. I heard you are sick, and I am praying that God give you good health and the healing so that you be okay. Guys, today as I've just said, a special day and welcome, welcome again and again and again, and thank you so much for coming back to watch our videos you know without your support this youtube channel is nothing but with your support this youtube channel it has been of a great support not only to me otenga junior and the family but to the people around keep on doing that keep on supporting and we really really appreciate and cherish you let's start with the let's start a week with the big energy a stronger energy you know because it is good to do something that you're passionate about if you're going to the business today i pray gods to bless the business that you're gonna be you got that kind customer to do his miracle i tell you if you're going to work today let the boss be kind to you today so in this image in the comment section we are praying for you so that you be okay wow so this is our home by the way in africa kenya yeah people are uh, developing from you remember those kind of horses that like the one in front of us it is good but of course at least we also want to test the life on the other side you know ancient you know okay somebody might say hey you guys are still living in caves nope this is the best that we can afford that by that time anyway it is good morning here this is my wife this is my baby sasha and this is caroline caroline how are you you're not fine i'm fine guys caroline is not fine if you go to the hospital you ask somebody hey how are you how are you doing today? They'll be like, oh, today at least I'm feeling okay. But in themselves, they're just giving themselves hope. So Caroline is sick. He came here two days ago. He was sick. She. She was sick. But did you know? Man. Is there a female without a male? <laughs> That's why it is female. Is there a woman without a man? That's why it is. So you are a he. <laughs> okay, guys. Pre -pro pronouns, yeah? He and she and they and it. So he and she sometimes confuse. But we are learning. English is also not our first language. But anyway, Caroline has been sick. We thank God she went to the hospital last time and the doctors did the diagnosis and she was diagnosed from malaria. She's saying I'm diagnosed from strong malaria 
and of course she's having chest problem, I think pneumonia. So the cause, the mega cause is uh, she has been going to school very early in the morning with no proper dressing code where she's not putting on heavy jacket. So it has been worse. But we are hoping you will be okay, okay? Since the doctors have known what the problem is and also you have got Dr. Mama Sasha, a nurse. She has got some medicines. Did you, have you taken the pressure? Have you taken the heart rate? You will. I'm praying for you, okay? Yeah, so they did exams, but she did exams while she's sick. We hope all shall be well. She was fainting in school. Yeah, but guys, her beaker are coming here. She need comfort from Mama Sasha. They talk. Hey, baby girl. What's up? Hmm? Okay, come help me talk. Ah. Ah, say hello. Hmm? Okay, she need a comfort for her massage. Advices. They've been talking, 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 talking. But Caroling, all shall be well, okay? Yeah, keep praying, keep believing. And don't feel bad about being sick, okay? Yeah, those things happen in the world, but uh, just feel encouraged that you will come out of it, okay? You won't uh, be there forever, okay? Okay, I hope everything shall be well. Yeah. Ah, guys, welcome again. That part, welcome again, guys. So I want to head to Mama Alex, charity home. I want to go there. And uh, yeah, I want to see if Mama Frank has cooked something so that I can eat. So that I go. Yeah, I like porridge with some mandazi. You know, that way I'm promoting her business when I eat her mandazi. Mama Frank, how are you? Is mandazi home? Oh, okay. So I am buying mandazi. And I'm not buying porridge. Porridge is porridge is free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys, you can see Mama Frank is doing some cleaning here. Thank you so much, Sister P. May God bless you abundantly for the wash station. Now you can see Mama Frank is taking good care of her stuff. Ah, Mama Frank, you will help me with. Uh... Oh, yesterday I took some mandas. Did they tell me? Oh, how much do I owe you? What? Oh, 40 shillings. Yeah, because I remember buying for Bonnie. Yeah. Okay, so today also I need Mandazi at 20. Uh, or 30. Bring for me 30. So that I owe you 70. Hello. Hello. Where, 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 where? Hey, you come on again, Morocco, you come on. Come on. Guys, it is good morning here. And... Pray for everybody. Pray for our mom, Mary and Melo. Those who subscribe to her YouTube channel, may God bless you so much. Our mom is not feeling well. I think she underwent some surgery. I was in her live video yesterday. I almost cried when the pain was too much to her. And uh, I'm just hoping that shall pass. There is nothing that you can't come over it. Everything will just one day pass. Don't get mama. Am I saying the right thing? Hmm? Baby girl. Am I saying the right thing? Yeah. So guys, keep blessed. Be blessed, you know. Those who are supporting, supporting the widows in the community, keep doing it. Keep doing it, by the way. May God bless you. So my man does is coming. Yeah. This is in the village, guys. Oh, Sasha. You also want? You want mandazi? Ah. Guys, Sasha want mandazi. I want to see if she knows how to pick. You know, she's uh, uh, putting her hand. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, where did you learn that? Oh, there are some things that they don't need to teach you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, guys. You can see my porridge is here. Ah, baby Sasha, let me give you your mandazi, okay?
Ah, uh, here. Here. Hey, eat. Give me. Mama. Okay. So guys, we're gonna be enjoying our porridge here. We're gonna be catching up. So stay tuned. Give the video a like. From here, Tega Junior, I wanna say one love. I love you all. To the moon, to the sun. But sun is too much hot. It can't bear us. Moon is cold. Good morning. Morning to you. Good morning to you. <laughs> guys, Brenda is here. I can see she's uh, doing some... Uh, how do you call local Sunday in English? Oh, okay. So this is house course. Yeah, guys, this is Brenda. And Brenda is helping us here in a nice way. Thank you so much once again, okay? Yeah, wow, that is what he's doing. Hey, Sasha, Sasha, give your mom, mom and us. Wow, guys, we are not going to be getting inside because it is not in time. Right? Are, are you forcing yourself or you can right now? You are good. She's good. Would you please help me carry Sasha? I need to do something else. Please put her. She's having some Put her somewhere, please. Aye. Put her down. There guys they are with her right there. So she's going to take care of her. We're gonna be catching up guys next. Keep watching our video. I need to rush to Mama Alex. Okay, according to Mama Ban, I saw in the comment section that uh, we should leave them alone. Of course, yes. But we have done the blundering. If we leave the project pending like that, isn't good. That's why whatever little I get, I try to use it as possible as I can with much knowledge. Because uh, let's say if I continue waiting, it can't be enough. So we do what part we can do, then we go. That's why when at Mama Paul, right over there, the kind of cement that we have if I get uh, the remaining money because I've got uh, 12,000 Kenyan shillings if I get 5,000 I can bring the sand here once I brought the sand I will get if I even if I get 1,000 personal money I'll call the mason hey do for me this part but I would want to start from the outside yeah so later on we start from the inside so I know it is possible so whatever I get, because right now, people have helped, you know. People have really, really helped. That is true. People have helped. And again, people won't be helped. Everybody won't be helped, you know. So a, a case of Mama Paul, you know, we had already started bringing the materials. And when we bring, wait, wait, put them there to waste, it can't help, you know. So anybody who's watching this video, 5,000 Kenyan shillings would help me to bring the sun. Once I get the sun, pop! I look, anytime I get a thousand, I call, hey, Mason Vincent, hey, Baba Mike, <laughs> come, if it can fit one person, hey, help me do this part. <laughs> Making in mind that since we have got beautiful home, that is my brother's and my, my, my mine with my wife, I will one day also make this one. Put the windows so that when guests come, we have got bigger places where they can sleep. And again, just to bring the beauty of our home in the future, you know, it will come. Or let me put it across. In any case, maybe there's somebody who can stand, stand with me and say, Tenga, I want to help you make that. Who am I to deny a blessing? Who am I to deny the blessings? May God bless you so much. Keep on supporting in one way or the other. The village is chill. And from there, we are adding to Mama Alex. So keep watching. Give the video a like. Comment also what you think. Yes, family. Finally, I did manage to arrive here after a long ride from the village up to this particular place. And as you can see, this is our beautiful charity home that we are making for a widow. That is Mama Alex. Yes, so as you can see, uh, the people are there. And there is a guy, that is Mr. Evans, who is trying to bring for us the water. 
I can see today is the one that is responsible for bringing the water. And at the same time, he's responsible for bringing the water. At the same time, he is responsible for the work that is taking place over here. Yes. So finally, we are here, and I'm not alone. We are with, uh, with Mr. Seth. Seth Adventures. Yeah, there's a man in yellow. So you might think he's a brother to the uh, yellowish stuff that is here. You know, by the way, He's going to help the ones to bring the water. What is it? That is Mr. Evans and Seth. Yeah, they are going to bring the water. As you can see here, these ones we bought, they were used here, but there are some that remained here. Uh, when they are dried, they can be used as a firewood, yeah, to cook. So, I just want to show you what has taken place here. So, I want to use a certain music here. Hi. Yeah, so, outside here, yeah, we have got Mr. Opio. As you can see, he is now mixing the soil as others are working over there. Yeah, you know, teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, so we are in the final finishing phase. Yeah, they come in the morning. And that is what they have been doing. So yesterday, you remember this particular place is what it wasn't like this. It was a little bit different, you know. It was different. Wow, I tell you. But today you can see it has the remolding has been done, and now ready for plaster. You see? Yeah ready for plaster that way up to down you know then the levelization of it is gonna take place ah, my brother here is busy guys yeah that is the technique you, you hold the soil like that and you do it like that one yeah you can see that that's right so the only big part that is remaining is here because when i came we had been looking around yeah and the boys have been working super hard yeah as you can see they're working from the outside here to finalize yeah <laughs> Ah, okay. Guys, we are just making some fun over there in Luo. Yeah, but you can see around this particular place that is how the house is looking very very nice very okay very amazing yes hope you guys are loving it yeah you guys are loving what has taken place inside the kitchen yeah and also the main house i know you guys are loving what has been taking place here yeah so with that said i want to say special thank you to back to basics Thank you so much. You sent me 3,400 plus some shillings. This man is going to help me because I need to put fuel on the motorbike. I need to be running around. I also have a family to feed. So thank you so much and may God bless you. I does not take it for granted. Through your help, through your donation, I'll get money to repair my motorbike because it needs some repair. Through your support, I'll get money to eat something may God bless you so much I'm so much happy and uh, keep on doing that yeah I donated money through man, uh, Western Union yes by the way guys MoneyGram is playing in trouble you remember yesterday I was talking about uh, RD donating some money so which I was supposed to pick today but once I went to the bank to pick it it was on hold 
Yeah, so I think now we can change from MoneyGram to Western Union because mostly I have not been receiving money through Western Union. So at least they are not going to be having some hold and delay. Maybe somebody might even use VAR if there is a VAR within the place that you are. So this is the main house. And as you can see, we need to treat or cut. We need to treat this timber. Yeah, but some part of it has been cut. You see, these timbers, they're so big and huge here. Yeah, we need to treat it so that uh, the root does not interfere with the house. Yeah, but we'll see what to do because we are going to be still here. So we'll see what to do. Yes, yeah, so family today, there is a big announcement that I want to put across. Yes, which I'm going to be wanting or hoping that everybody to come through and listen to me so that we decide together. Yeah, because your decision today is really, really needed here. But I know, isn't it over? Okay. Yeah, because those are neighbors and they are related to Evans, the one that is helping us over here. So they are really, really related, related, and they are good. The good thing I like about this particular place is friendly. So the area is friendly, and Mama Alex is going to uh, get used to it very near. And the compound is big. Yeah, coming towards the front is big. So guys, we have a plan. And this plan, I need to go inside there so that we discuss. And I want to put it across that we are going to do it we are going to finish this project but my the plan that i'm having you guys are going to like it so stay tuned keep watching the video commenting in a bit we are going to be sharing our plan so stay tuned yes it is lunch time right now and the children as you can see the children are going home yes so just got somebody here. I was just inquiring some information from them. You know the village better. The children are from school days. Now guys, like I told you, uh, we were supposed to be talking about uh, what next. You know how this house is being done with charity. I hope you all know. If maybe somebody is coming across the channel for the first time, this is a charity house and this charity house is for one of the ladies called Mama Alex. She's the one that we are trying to help out. But I guess soon and very soon uh, she people will get to see her. People will get to see her big time, you know. Yeah, so as you can see the compound is here and the fence is here. Uh, something that oh that guy is hitting the car you know? so that at least they have got higher speed wow crazy man okay when mama alex came here there was something that mama evans told her because i wanted them to get connected mama evans told her oh how lucky woman are you you know now you are not going to get interference with anybody because you first of all you have got a fence around you you know so no intruders will be getting or will be having a space to come to your home unless if you decide to go to their homes you know so you are know. okay so guys you remember my plan was uh early september we get from alex home or maybe mid august but with the way the donations are coming that one it can be a dream if maybe the donation would have been coming like maybe we have got GoFundMe whereby we are having big money coming in whereby like right now I haven't overspent for us to finish whatever we did here the money that I got we had to overspend you know so you find we wait we wait for the donation to come is when we continue that is now the challenge that we are getting here which if we continue like that it will take months because i remember my obama project for it to be completed it took around four months of course i'm so much happy because for this project it has only gone for less than a month but now mama alex has got a roof over her 
you know so first of all there are some necessary necess necessity necessary things that we have to have in mind before we then think of bringing mama alex here number one is the toilet since the toilet that is inside is going to take longer period of time and it is going to be very very expensive i want us to switch our focus to getting this one done yeah so i just need those guys to reduce for me the music so nah nah okay do you want to come in yeah so okay i was telling them to reduce the music okay this is the thing for us to do the toilet that is inside it will take longer period of time that, that's this is a new plan this is a plan that is going to be a very relief because you remember mama alex when she's staying in town town life is expensive whereby everything they have to buy including water you know here when they come they will just go as the people are fetching water there they will go the, the, the other water is not far away as the people are fetching water on the other side they will go you get what i say yes so here life is not going to be that expensive for them you remember last month when mama alex came here i did i didn't have money for her and it forced me to take money from somewhere to go pay for, uh, to give her so that she can go and pay the rent you know so those are the some of the challenges and again the food the 15,000 Kenyan shillings that she's being given to go and buy food, if she has got that money here in this house, if she is going to use that money well, she can even use it a month plus, one month plus, you know, because she will be here. I know it is going to be like she's in town, but now the life expenses is going to be down. Okay, my plan is if God bless us, we'll finish this one. And we finish some things inside the house that I'm going to be talking about. We can bring Mama Alex in here within, uh, let's say, mid month August, mid month August, or maybe late August. We can, Mama Alex can come here. Reason as to why I'm saying that, if maybe we, let's say we want to bring Mama Alex here by October, that is when now maybe things will be okay. The children, we will take them away from the school and the school will not have a break, you know. Right now people are closing the school, so once you come here during the holidays, it is going to be good that the children uh, were coming that term, they will get to go and study over there. Yeah, nah, Jadel, how could work now, Chen Martin? Yeah. That is just music. So that is the plan that I'm having. Now, my plan is, we finish this one. Let's forget about uh, plastering the whole house. We plaster two rooms. We plaster two rooms. That is the bedroom and the stove. Once we plaster the bedroom and the stove, so during that time, okay guys, this is just a plan. I'm just having a plan so that at least she can come here you see at the back here she can start making a kitchen garden to prevent her from when that time when she's coming now when everything is ready she finds that is when she's starting to dig because nobody's going to work for her on the kitchen garden here she's the one that is to work okay guys we've done the mega part now uh, there are some minor things that she is the one that is going to be doing i just want us to be clear guys not in a bad fate not in a bad way and again the mega reason as to why i would want her to uh, come here and be here during the time when we are doing the construction so that she be part of it you know? yes let her not come and find everything finished paint and everything she will not feel the pain of having it you know when you you also be part of it you'll be like I was there when this house was being made, you know, yeah, and people will not see her, even though I know now people will know, like, we did charity for her, but she was also there as part of it, somebody can live here, you know, 
but before that i want to request donation now we want to change our focus to the toilet whereby we put the slab we put the slab whereby for this toilet we need uh, d10 the metal bar that we usually buy this one is a little bit wide we will need four this one we will need two uh, wire mesh there is a wire mesh that is needed of course the timbers that are home over there to mama uh, uh, eva the one that we put there is what we use then we need ballast that is now the first phase of this toilet then after ballast we'll need one tip of sand hey my brother how are you yes we'll need one tip of sand to be here and bags of cement so that we start this during the time that we are doing this one if god bless us with donation we can start plastering the houses i need to finish with these guys because they have done all them so that we talk about it guys we talk we talk talk about it you know whatever we are sharing it needs to be in between us it should not be in among crowd it is among me and my subscribers those are supporting us so let me finish with them because they are done and we're gonna be catching up yeah i'm just finishing the ones and they're giving me an idea that now since we have uh, dug here like this one we will burn this one see, see this one now we put them here to burn them so it's telling me burning them here is very easy yeah that is true that is 100 percent true now my focus is toilet we're gonna start with the toilet then as we continue we're gonna do the two rooms guys in this life i've tried so much to hide this but i i'll let them know it is charity that we are doing and they're going nobody is going to hurt this lady here you know so just now explaining too much how it happens in between them and the husband that is what we don't do but she's going to be okay because she speak luo nobody is going to be like hey where do you come from you know there is law in kenya so the law will help her live here peacefully ah so i want to also put a cross i'm just giving an overview plan of how it is going to be happening you see we will be fixing the door frame here this particular place is very very spacious and for privacy it is the first one that we need to start working on for the privacy so we will put a door a door frame because for the plaster to take place we can't do the plaster without put, fixing a door frame here so first we might start with the two door frame that is this and the other one because my plan is we first of all start with this inside whereby we plaster uh, her bedroom and then we come and plaster the store the store is good and it can help to come accommodate the property that she's having not arranging them but just to accommodate them as the work will be progressing for the inside toilet this one will come slowly by slowly step by step it's not going to be something that we can do so during that time is uh, a why during that time when the stay will be here the outside toilet will be of a help what do you think guys in the comment section i think it is good when we hear from you yes so right now as you can see uh my brothers here they are on the this is the like repair yeah? final touches final touches they are doing the repairs some parts that did remain so that is what they are doing because on the kitchen there is something that has been officially done as you can see my gentleman here is also here to finalize and also inside my brothers are here you guys twins 
No, no. we're not twins. twins. But you work together. Mm. We work together, but we are not. We are friends. We are just we are friends. friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, you know, uh, only twins follow each other. But anyway, it is. It is what it is. So this one, one is, is done. done. Completely done. Yeah. So at least to ease us, because right now, you know, everybody has got it her or his things that they want to do you know people pay bills and you know maybe some of my donors some getting sick and they have to take care of themselves you know you know what i mean guys so when we do it step by step whereby we make the toilet after making the toilet we do the plaster in the two rooms Mama alex can come in she can start staying there you know, once she started staying there, she will cook with a jiko, a charcoal, a charcoal stove. It is called a charcoal stove. She will cook with a charcoal stove, even if this one is not done. And again, she can cook inside there, inside the main house, with that. Because even me, inside my house, we cook with a charcoal stove. And in Migori, where she's staying, she has been using a charcoal stove. And getting a charcoal around this particular place, it's going to be cheap as compared to being in the city. You get what I say, guys. Hey, my brothers. You guys from school? You guys from school? Oh, you're from school, Luanda. Luanda boys. Oh, Luanda, Luanda girls. Oh, Luanda primary. You are in which grade? Grade four. And how about my brother here? Four. Only four. Four like this. Oh, this one is three. Okay, guys, it is good to make fun with the boys here. You know? So what do you think about the plan, guys? What do you think about the plan? I just thought, and one of my aunties gave me an idea because I had to look for ideas, and one of my aunties told me, Otenga, let's do, you can do this. And I said, wow. You know, it has, it has been stressing me. How am I going to complete this house? You know, but when she's staying here. Okay, so we do the window panes. We put the window glasses in the room that she's going to stay. So for the three windows, three windows. The store. Oh, okay, yeah, three windows. The store. Uh, the bedroom with the two. In case maybe somebody can be, I want to do all the windows. We can. Because I remember my brother, he did the plastering of his house when he had already put the glasses. So there is no big deal because all his glasses are intact. You get what I mean? Boom. So that is what I'm thinking of and it is going to help me. And during that time, Alex will be here during the holiday to also take part in their house. Do you think, do you, do, do you get what I mean? Guys? Mama Alex will be here to take part. Whereby, in the morning, she's also bringing the water. Yeah, even if she can't do that, but she will be around. What do you think, guys? I think that, to me, is a very, very perfect plan. So that we just focus on one thing and finish the two, one, one bedroom and the, the stove plus this one. We finish this one, and during the time that we have finished this one, we work there. What do you think? Is that a perfect plan? Okay, to me, it is a top notch. Because for us to finish this, we'll need almost five tippers of sand. Five tippers of sand. If, we, let's say, it come far, no. But in any case, if there is, the floor is all yours, guys. Maybe that somebody was waiting for this time. When is Otenga going to get stuck so that I can, can, I can come through? I am stuck, guys. This is the time that I need you to come through. Come through and help me here. Say, Otenga, how much can that house be finished for? Then I come and do the validation, quotation, and tell you, hey, for us to complete this, if we get maybe uh, uh, get around five thousand US, because it's going to need much. We need tile, ceiling board, hey, and labor, you know, plaster. Even if it is three 
300 US, 3000 US. Then I tell you, then you say, hey, let me support this boy. Boom. Wow. How I wish these ladies can pass here so that I show you something. Guys, you see that family that is passing over there? That woman is carrying a child. Oh, wow. It is good they passed here. So that you guys get to see what I'm talking about. The real African struggle in Kenya, Africa. I'm not going to talk much. Hey, Mr. Seth. Yeah. How are you, my brother? I'm doing fine. You're fine? Yeah. We are here and we are hoping for the best to happen for this particular humble mother. Hey, ma'am. So, hey guys, did you hear that? It did not rain here, but today it's like it's going to rain. So this is the perfect time that when Mama Alex would have come here, she would have started digging plant, plant vegetable at the back here. Okay, so guys, did you see that mother? The mother is carrying a child. The mother is having a little bit grown child and a smaller one. So that little grown child is helping her to do whatever she went to do. So they went to collect the sand together so that they get income. And you see the child, she was, he, he was supposed to be in school and he's not in school. Yeah, you know, so it struggles, you know. But again, God will just have a way for them to keep living. Yeah, the same way, Mama Alex is better, better, better off than most people that are staying here. Let me tell you. There are people that are crying for this particular house, even where it has reached. Yeah, I tell you guys, I tell you, I tell you. But since now Mama Alex, God is opening her ways, we cannot say, now let's block her blessings, guys, let's just bring her here. But my plan, my plan is let's focus on this. Whatever amount of bricks we get, if somebody can be with us, Okay, my friends, wherever you are watching the video from, if you're still in the channel, those who wanted us to make a brick house, we have reached here. Please, right now, nobody is going to know whether it is mud or a, or, or, or a brick house, you know. So this is the right time you help us out. We need bricks here. Whatever amount of bricks, 2,000 bricks, 1,500, it will help us. And the brick is 8.5, and the transportation, where I know the bricks are being gotten, is now going to be 3500 up to here. One brick is 8.5 shillings, 8 shillings and 50 cents, 8.5, you know. So, whatever amount of bricks we get for this house, you remember yesterday I was talking about the main house reinforcing it up, but here we need your help. Please let help me so that we finish this toilet. We have got the stones which some of them will use to put in the house and some of them will use to do the foundation these are the stone that we'll use to do the foundation yes guys may god bless you so that is the plan that we have and god blessings to be upon you and your families and again guys did you know it is going to relieve me from stress i am very very stressed it is really really going to relieve me because i'm i'll be like what if next time we don't get money to pay the rent how will it going to be Okay, but before all that plan that we are putting together, I want to put it across and say we need to do the piping. Because whatever part we want to plaster, whatever part we want to plaster, we will need a piping to be done. We will need a piping to be done. As you can see here, this is piping for the house. This is now the electricity part. So the piping, we have got total of 27,440 Kenyan shillings plus 15,000 Kenyan shillings labor. That is going to be around 42,440 Kenyan shillings for the piping. Please, for us to go to the next step, we have to do that. We have to for us to go to the next step from today piping needs to come fast but in case maybe somebody want to help us this in this 
the piping is not needed here the only thing that will be needed is i will dig something here you remember here there is something that we will dig okay there is one toilet pipe that i will buy so we dig and put it down there so during the time that when we will be doing the piping for the toilet we get we had already gotten a way to put the waste product from the house so that one is the only thing that is needed but that one is not much you know yes yeah, so but the piping for the house is needed the toilet we can finish even later because only the toilet is what we'll need the uh, plumber to come may somebody help me out so that we do this but i think that is a great plan whereby mama alex will also be seen how we are struggling when we wake up in the morning coming here and begging for donation she will be like hmm i thought it was easy but it wasn't easy because mama obama knows how hard it is when i go there and crying for donation but with her it is not it is not going it is not going to be fair when she just come and see things boom th tiles and everything done sir so, mama alex can start staying here yeah right now she even today what, because you know when she came with me what mama alex told me she told me if i can just put boxes in the window in the, uh, by the windows you by know window. i just lock them like that with boxes i can start stay then i told her okay that is good but let give the god chance yeah. we see what god is yeah. going to do to you so guys i am officially stuck but with good news please help me out me and mr seth and please also support seth seth rd all donated money again yeah but unfortunately we did not get it today again <laughs> this is uh since he started sending that money this is my fourth try to withdraw it to pick it fourth try so i am going to talk to my friend rd to use another alternative that is western union we see if we can get the money once we get the money mr seth can be here. i put a door a metallic door to my house yeah wow it will be a big celebration guys in this life you will fire you will realize you've not lived a life if you've never supported somebody but you will live a good life if you've ever supported somebody you know and i usually say this seth yeah i can die anytime i know i've not supported but just being an instrument for people to be supported even if i die today i'll be like have i've done something for somebody yeah. you know you die peacefully i know maybe god has got god greater knows. yeah god has got god has got greater plans yeah. which he's the one that knows with our thinking we can't know. but I, i feel happy and i feel like hey i've done something nice for somebody you know so guys that is the plan that we have for mama alex let's focus here so any amount that you send we will start working here any amount you send will plaster the okay we'll plaster the bedroom and the store the reason as why i want the store to be plastered is to help us in storing her stuff because she has got big things then bedroom she can be sleeping with the children in the bedroom cooking she can cook in any room be it sitting room be it be it the other bedroom yeah. wherever she want to cook but those two i want them to be plastered so that during the time that she is here we don't go again and interfere with her stay so please help me out yes so that is that that being said we are so glad let me go again and tell you how everything looks on this other side yeah guys you can see the boys now they are leaving the boys are leaving home man koro ka uno nera ne kecho ne wara de empiro de empira tango mucho ne nera ne man nera ne kecho ango ango mucho ne go nera ni ne ka bika o catch ma hey Why catch me? 
Okay. Okay. Hi guys, let me show you something here as we finalize. We want to show you something here as we finalize today's work. So far, so good. We don't complain too much because in the charity project, there must be ups and downs. So this face, Mama Alex home project. This is now the first of, of remolding. During that time, Annie Ben and Peter Sam donated a sum of 9,644 but they told me to take whatever I can take for personal use. I, I took 644. In his image, donated 10,400 Kenyan shillings towards the project and we are praying for you so that you be well in his image, wherever you are. Auntie LB donated a sum of 15,720 Kenyan shillings. The total amount that we received, because you remember, we did not have money, we were having extra. We used extra money. Total is 36, 35,120 Kenyan shillings. 35,120 Kenyan shillings, that is the donation we received before we started the report. How the money was used. So as you can see, for this page, the topic was remolding money used. How the money was used. 23rd July 2024, I bought four padlocks at 1,700 shillings. 24th July 2024, I used food during the time they started digging this one. I paid 500 Kenyan shillings because I gave them food for one time. Then 25th July 2024, out of the money we had, I took 5,023 uh, Kenyan shillings. That is arrears, and this is how the arrears came. We bought four padlocks with the money that we did not have, and uh, there is an area that we used here. You remember? Yeah. So when we were when we were doing the gate. The money that we use extra money was 4,123 Kenyan shillings during the gate. So when I add with the padlock 1,700, it is totaling to uh, 5,023 Kenyan shillings. Then on 25th, I had to pay the remolding 21,000 Kenyan shillings. That is the day we started the remolding. During that time, we brought water, 1,700 Kenyan shillings. Food, 1,000 Kenyan shillings. That time, I was still giving them two meals a day. 26th, July 2024, we brought water, 1,900 Kenyan shillings. It was high. Food, one, uh, 500 Kenyan shillings. I had already cut off and said, I am only going to pay you or I'm only going to uh, cater for one food if it is breakfast or if it is lunch that is 26th then 27th mama alex transport you remember 27th mama alex came here the transportation cost was 1500 shillings i did not have that money it forced me to take it from the money that we are having for her own project because that was also a big day for her she was coming to see it you know then 28th July 2024, that was yesterday, water 1,800, then food 500 Kenyan shillings. Then today, that is 29th July 2024, water 2,000 Kenyan shillings and food 500 Kenyan shillings. This is the total, a total of 38,700 and 23 Kenyan shillings. I need to do the subtraction 
so that we need to know how much we use exceedingly. Yes. You remember this time round I did not put the money for fuel. Hope you are getting there because I promise whatever I get small is what I'll use for my fuel. Because the money that we were having wasn't enough. So uh, what we use is 38. Select all delete. So thirty eight thousand seven hundred and twenty three. Then I am going to subtract the initial money that we had minus thirty five thousand one hundred and twenty. So what I have used the array, what I've used exceedingly is three thousand six hundred because we did not have this money. But I can't explain to them, hey, we don't have this money, you know. Yeah, so I took this money from somewhere and I use it here. So in any case, God bless me with any donation. First of all, I will take it out the same same way I have been doing, but putting things in a transparent way. So the next step, which anytime we get the money, we do the piping, forty-two thousand plus some shillings on top. And unfortunately, I did not put the transport. Let me put it forty-five thousand Kenyan shillings. That is going to include the transportation. That is for the electricity. Guys, electricity work isn't easy. Because for the all electricity to be done, it is over 200,000 Kenyan shillings. So the piping is that. Then later on, we do whatever I say. If maybe, it will be passing. I put it in front of you. You are my judges. You are my prosecutors. Uh, yeah, so please help me out. What do you think? I'm Alex to come so that she be part of it. Guys, it is just raining and I'm not going to continue recording while here. From your Tenga Junior, I doesn't have much to say, but I'm so, so much pleased and happy for your kind heart and donation. May God bless you. Please support us so that we do this project. I don't know what, because I'm stuck and I'm like at the dead end for the, from, uh, for the project. I'm happy because we finished the remolding, but now, what next? We doesn't have any money. We are going to be locking the gate. If we get any money, we will come. But please, help me out. And thank you so much, and may God bless you. My dear man. From here, Tanga Junior, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.